The government asked permission from me, and from you, and from you. But it's only if we do not give them voluntary compliance on unconstitutional, immoral, <laughs> terrible policy. We cannot comply any longer. Our U.S. Constitution, that you all know and love, that protects your rights, gives you the enumerated freedoms that we hold so true and so dear and close to our hearts that needed to be ratified by nine states of nine of the colonies to become the supreme law of the land. Anybody know what state ratified the U.S. Constitution? New Hampshire. This state that you're sitting in right now, this wonderful live for your die state, was the ninth colony to sign the U.S. Constitution into law. We made it the supreme law of the land. We forget our history. A lot of people said they would come out tonight except for the weather. We spent a winter at Valley Forge to get this. We have sacrificed so much over the years and we're letting them ship it down the fucking river. Why? Why? We had the Civil War, we had the Revolutionary War, we had all the wars. People have fought and bled and died for what we have in this country. And the people in New Hampshire, by and large, they're asleep at the wheel. They think their freedoms come at no cost, no penalty, no inconvenience. People don't want to be uncomfortable. I'm telling you, if you want your rights, you're going to have to get a little uncomfortable. It has to happen. You're going to have to say, you know what? You want me to wear a mask to go into your business? I'm not shopping with you. Sorry. Yeah. Everybody says, oh, just tell them you have a medical exemption for a mask. I don't have a medical exemption. And I don't have to lie to have my beliefs in America. I don't have to lie and tell somebody I have a medical exemption just to be able to go to the store unfettered. You should not have to lie to somebody to have your conservative views if that's how you feel tonight. I was eight years ago, Coast Guard helicopter mechanic. Thank you. A lot of people in this country do not appreciate their rights because they did not have to do anything to earn their rights except be born in this blessed land. And when you don't earn something in life, you don't recognize the value in it. The best things in life are hard. You guys, we have a long fight ahead of us.
fact is official. We are not supposed to be being controlled by the elected officials. They are not supposed to be breaking the Constitution and telling healthy people that you have to put these facial inhibitors of your identification. We need to be able to see the smiles. We need to be able to see the facial attributes that you have in order to exchange our relationships. What do we do? We keep the liquor stores open, we keep Planned Parenthood open, but your churches cannot be open. That's a violation of the First Amendment, right? We can't assemble unless we've got less than 100 people. That's a violation of your First Amendment. We need our freedom, and we, need, we are in a war for our freedom. And if we do not survive on September 8th and elect me as your governor of Canada, for governor in the state of New Hampshire, we will lose our freedoms. Because this governor that's sitting in the corner office right now wants to carry on the control for the next six months. Or until he can force that vaccination on each and every one of you. So, we need you in the army. We are now in a war for our freedoms. Freedom is never free, you know that. And I need you to go to KarenTesterman.com. I need you to help me finance this race. I need you to help me by telling at least five other people about me and, about, and spread the word across the state. If you can help me distribute signs all over the state, come to my house at Nine Stone Avenue in Franklin and pick them up. And then let's line the highways and the byways with Karen Testerman for Governor Signs. Thank you very much, and I, I really appreciate your being here, and I'm so excited to have all the bikers in New Hampshire. I wish, I wish, I wish that this governor hadn't been so controlling to control how many people could actually come here. So thank you very much, Tony. Great job. My name's Jack Kimball, I live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and Dave and I were together this morning down there, doing the same thing down there that we're doing here tonight. I'm a United States Navy veteran. Vietnam era. How many veterans out there? Please just stand up. What do we have for veterans tonight? Raise your hand. I know they're out there. There you go. Yo. That's both the best. There's a reason for your freedom. You know, as veterans, we all took an oath. Yeah, we took an oath. We took an oath to protect and defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. That oath didn't end the day I left the military, and in damn sure it didn't end the day you folks left the military. When this virus broke out, back in March, and they shut the country down, they shut every cut every state in our country down because the initial projections were so crazy. Millions of people are going to die. Everybody's going to get sick. They had to shut down all of the hospital normal procedures and get ready for the influx of all these patients, which never happened. All the hospitals in this state took a terrible hit financially. Nurses were furloughed. Workers were furloughed. Guess how many people total are in the hospitals in this state as of yesterday with, with the virus? Nine. Nine. My God. We've shut down our state for this. Are we are we allowed to smoke? The death rate nationally from from this virus is 0.04%. For that, we shut the country down. The survival rate, if you do catch the
this is 99.96%. Now, I'm not a gambler normally, but I like those odds. Those are damn good odds. So now what we have is this lingering group of orders by a governor who cares less about your liberty and your freedom and only about control because quite frankly folks this is no longer about your health or your safety it's all about control to mandate that people wear a mask in groups of a hundred or more is so ridiculous to mandate and i feel bad for these restaurant owners these guys are taking terrible financial hits but how crazy is it that they have told the, the, they being the state has told them everybody that comes in got to have a mask on to walk to their table but then they can take the mask off so i'm guessing the virus is just hiding along the walkway because that's the only place it's going to get you it's absolutely ridiculous we can no longer talk it's just garbage. And today, as we when we were downtown in Portsmouth, it's a very liberal town, very liberal city. We got so many honks. I was amazed at how many people gave us thumbs up more honking because people were there with signs. No mask. They want they're thinking about doing the mandate. Get rid of them. Don't wear them. When you walk into a store and you attempt and they tell you you got to mask up but there is a sign in the, in the, in the window. So you know, call the manager out and just do what I do. Say, look, you want my business? Or not? If you're going to make me, make, make me wear a mask, I am not coming in. Not sick. tonight the importance of your taking part in taking back your liberty and your freedom. Because us veterans, we may be older, but hell, I'll tell you what, you sit me in a chair with a long gun and I'll do my job. We had a 17-year-old young man two nights ago in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and I don't care what anyone says, that was all self-defense and he did his job. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that the rest of the country took notice. Because if you want, if you really want to take us on, bring it on. You are not going to win that battle. You are not going to win that fight. We're gearing up. But it's up to all of us to get on that train and you have to take part. You've got to participate in this. When they call for a freedom rally, show up and bring friends. Grow this and make sure to make a statement to everyone. We're not going to comply. We're not going to do it anymore. It's over. Thank you very much for coming out tonight. Appreciate it. All right, we're not going to vote you guys anymore. Politics leave. Who wants to have it? everybody for showing up. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to vote for. It's a secret. Just like the back of my mail-in ballot, right? Right? I don't know. Every time I see Truly, all I see is Trump. Right? So, let's fucking finish off Motorcycle Week with some rock and roll, some drinking, let's have a good time. Rock TV.